With most teenagers, they're either rebelling or out partying with friends. I guess that made me the odd one out. Of course, they were getting drunk and having fun with their friends without their parents' awareness. I was stuck indoors with only my mind and the friends I had made online. This wasn't because my parents were strict and were far from it. I was just the kid that didn't enjoy the company of others in person. My bedroom was my safe place. No one or anything could harm me. I could be who I truly am without judgement, harassment and bullying from others. I was accepted from no one else but myself, but that's all I needed. My comfort came in all different sizes. They ranged from activities to objects to living organisms. Playing games was one of the original ones. Leaving this reality to escape to another one became addicting because it made this world bearable. When things were bad, there was always another story to see and be a part of. Listening to and creating music was another one. There wasn't a song I hadn't heard and learnt. When I just wanted something to relate to, another song with a familiar lyric was there. Like video games, they helped me bear the world surrounding me. I was less tired when I knew someone else felt the same way I did. Photography wasn't a planned interest. Like a puzzle piece, it just fit into place. At first it was just a hobby, but then it wasn't. It was a future investment that would become a planned career. I wanted to learn more and more from it every day. Maybe with the help of it I could finally be me with no fears or setbacks. I could be myself and influence others to do the same. The rest was just fascination. Dim lighting, neon colours, the night sky with its millions of stars and a brightly lit moon. Of course I found comfort in the little four-legged cat that follows me around everywhere. Not only does her purrs calm down any person who has the joy of meeting her, I guess it's also because of her unique backwards crawl that comforts me because we are both abnormal to what we are meant to be. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change me for the world. This is who I am. And this is who I will always be.